Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I want to go through a, a quick um, a torsion problem, a little bit more complex than what we've done so far. Um, so what we're going to look at is we're going to pretend like we want to build our own car. Um, and we want it to be super fancy. We're going to make it a gold car. Um, we're going to make the frame out of gold, everything out of gold. Now gold isn't very strong. Um, and so one of the things, the problems we came across is that we're trying to build this, um, this steering wheel, this uh, steering wheel, um, I can't think of the word rod or whatever. Um, uh, we, we realized that gold is expensive and several other things. So we decided that we're just going to make it gold plated. We're going to make a core inside of this rod that is steel. Thereby, it can withstand um, more, more torque. It'll be a little bit stronger and it won't cost us quite as much money, which will be nice. Um, so what we're doing is that the design that we came up with, and I should change, that's not accurate. There we go. Um, is we've made this rod and it's two feet long, we'll say. It's um, uh, 1.25 inches in diameter and we're gonna make the steel core inside one inch. And so, and the steering wheel, the radius of the steering wheel is six inches. And so we're gonna see uh, what's happening. We wanna find out um, what do we want to find out? Oh yeah, we want to find out the deformation, the angle of twist that this rod will experience if we were to put 200 pound force on that, on that steering wheel. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I, find, I want to find out how much torque that is. That's easy. Um, the torque is T is equal to the uh, force times the distance. And so that's 200 times six. That's uh, 1,200, I think it was. Yeah, 1,200. 1,200 pound inches. That's good, that's what we want it. We want it in pound inches. And now that we have that, we can go about solving this problem. This is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, since we have a steel core on the inside, it's not a uniform material, which means we have two different Gs, we have, we have different stuff going on. And so it's, it's weird trying to figure out exactly what's happening. So we're gonna look at it statically first. Um, and we're gonna, if you imagine this, the cross-sectional area, you have a torque running across that cross-sectional area. You would have 12,000 pound inches, which means there has to be a resisting torque to keep that surface in equilibrium. And we know that there's gonna be torque coming from two different things. You're gonna have torque coming from the pipe, we'll call it a pipe, the exterior, the, the plating, the gold plating will have a torque, so we're gonna call that torque T of G. The torque from the gold. And then we're gonna have another torque right there, which we're gonna call T, torque of steel. Now there's, the whole torque is gonna to be equal to 12,000 um, pound inches. So we know the full torque has to resist that. And so that means we know that T of G plus T of S, the two torques from the two materials, has to be equal to the 12,000 pound inches. We know that. All right, so that's the first, first thing that we can deal with. The second thing is that we know that when we twist this, that there's going to be an angle of twist, that the angle of twist within the gold has to be equal to the angle of twist in the steel rod. And so the angle of twist, um, phi I think it was, of the gold is equal to the angle of twist in the steel. Those are two important things, and we can use those two concepts to solve this problem now. So let's go about doing that. Um, due to the fact that I don't have enough room on this board, I'm going to erase these strong. So remember them, think about them, whatever. I'm going to get rid of these. Okay. Now, let's, let's try solving for it. So the, the equation that we remember for angle of twist is, the angle of twist is equal to T, what was it, TC over... No, not TC. TL. 
TL over JG. That's right. That's our, um, our angle of twist equation. So let's, let's look at first, what is the angle of twist of the pipe, of the gold core pipe that has, uh, uh, the gold plated pipe that goes around the steel core. So with, with that, so that the phi for the gold is equal to um, the torque of G, which we don't know, that's an unknown, times the length. Now the length of this rod, remember, is two feet. We want, we want that in inches, so it's 24 inches divided by j, j which is pi over 2 times, now this is a pipe, remember, and pipe is different than, the, than an actual rod. So the j for a pipe is, I'm going to write these down, right down here so you can remember, j for the pipe, pipe is equal to pi over 2 times c to the fourth, c outer to the fourth minus c inner to the fourth, while for the rod, is equal to pi over 2 times c to the fourth, just c to the fourth. So we'll use both of those today because we have both the, the pipe um, plating and the rod, that's the rod core. So we use both of those. All right, so for this, we have pi over 2 over the outer dia or the outer radius to the fourth. The outer radius is half of 1.25. That's, what is that? Uh, I don't have a calculator with me, so I'm just going to write it down like this. 1.25 over 2, that to the fourth. So half of 1.25 to the fourth minus half of 1 inch. That's the uh, inner diameter. So that to the fourth times the G for the goal, which we, which we have. I googled that for fun. Um, so we'll use that number. I'm just going to write down G just to say.